Hey boys and girls, in math, you've been learning all about how to make our teen numbers. Another word for that is compose. Now it's time we break apart or decompose these numbers. In today's lesson, you're going to learn to decompose the numbers 11, 12, and 13. Repeat after me. I can decompose the numbers 11, 12, and 13. Let's try it all together. I can decompose the numbers 11, 12, and 13. Let's check it out. The dolphin swim team won 13 trophies. How could they split the trophies into two groups to put into two trophy cases? Hmm, if we have two trophy cases, we should probably fill up the first trophy case and then put the rest in the second. How many trophies are there in all? Look, our flag tells us. What number is that? You're right. There are 13 in all. There are 13 trophies. How many trophies will fit in the red case? Did you notice that red case looks an awful lot like a 10 frame? How many do you think will fit in there? You got it. 10 fit in it because it's a 10 frame. 10 trophies fit into the red case. How many trophies will go into the yellow case? Well, this is another 10 frame, but it doesn't look like we have 10 left. We have one, two, three left that could go into the yellow case. Three trophies go into the yellow case. What do the phrase 10 ones and the number 10 represent in the red box? Well, I see a total of 10 trophies. There's one in each box, so that must be 10 ones. They represent the 10 trophies in the red trophy case. What do the phrase three ones and the number three represent in the yellow box? Well, if 10 ones represents 10 in the top case, three ones must represent the three in the bottom case. They represent the three extra trophies. Look at the equation 13 equals 10 plus 3. What does the 10 represent? What do you think? The red case or the yellow case? You got it. The 10 represents the red case. The 10 represents the group of 10 trophies as 10 ones. What does the three represent? Which case? You got it, the trophies in the yellow case. The three represents the group of three trophies as three ones. Which number tells the total number of trophies? Do you remember how many trophies there were in all? You're right, 13, great job. 13. Now you know how to find parts of a number. Great job! All right, boys and girls, before I let you guys go, there is one thing I need to clarify because it's always so confusing. Let's check out my board. My top equation says 10 plus 1 equals 11. That's what we did when we were making numbers. We took the parts, 10 and 1, and put them together to make the whole, 11. Today's lesson has us breaking apart a whole. We had the 11, our whole, and broke it into the parts, 10 and 1. Here's the thing. In these equations, our plus and equal signs are moved around. The thing you need to know is that equals means the same. Wherever you have equals, the things on one side need to be the same as the other. You also need to know that plus 
means join. Whenever you use the plus sign, you are joining things together. So here we are joining the parts 10 and 1 to make the whole 11. All right, friends, that's all for today. Thank you so much for learning with me. Bye, everybody. If you liked this video and want to see more, don't forget to like and subscribe.